today, and even without the 4 a.m. extension, you see and read about the hit and run fatalities connected to alcohol. This impacts the moving drinking hours to 4 a.m. We will not stay put within the cities that we decide to extend their hours. Stay open later means more drunk drivers on the roads at a crucial time when people are driving to work or parents are taking their kids to school. People that are going to work at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning that are going to encounter, unfortunately, these people that are just leaving those bars and are intoxicated. Our First responders don't really have the capacity as it is. I don't care what city you're in, they're stretched to the max. Southern California does not have a reliable late night transportation options across cities' uh, borders. The metro closes before 2 a.m. and lacks the resources to operate services scheduled, let alone scheduling the hours. And what the data shows is there is no correlation whatsoever uh, between when uh, bars close and how much drunk driving uh, there is. And we ask the people of the communities, those who are highly impacted, to call the members of the Assembly Government of, uh, Operations Committee on July 5th to tell them we don't want the extension of drinking laws. Woo!